Hello people, here's a little framework I made for uh, priorities and this video is to uh, elaborate on that and you know make make um, in-depth discussion about this. How, so first of all how to use it oh, hold on let me disable background how to use this is written here it's you know numpad shortcuts if you look at priorities here I press numpad zero. It would be it would assign priority in a range of zero to three point six, and it's randomized. And same for others. One to three. If I press numpad one, we get three point six to eight point four priorities, and so forth. Yeah, like that. Very quick, ooh, quick way to assign priorities, <clears throat> and 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 um, so this is just a framework. This definitely should be adjusted and personalized based on your needs. Uh, but how I see how how I uh, saw imagine this to go would be like this is actually quite quite new thing. I haven't used this for but only like month or two or so so it's still a work in progress but it's it's helped me tremendously on you know doing uh, systematic prioritizing and so forth so maybe a thing to add here would be let me delete those would be <clears throat> that this zone here this is actually a pretty important distinction because this will uh, streamline your uh, streamline your work process uh, workflow in SM quite drastically. I I believe um, this one here. This this uh, could be named as assessment zone rather than exploration zone. I feel like, and this would be uh, numpad seven, eight, and nine. Seven, eight, and nine, and reason for uh, labeling this as assessment zone would be to make a distinction for uh, from a value zone so how I see would how this I find super valuable uh, to have these two sections uh, because it implies that anything that falls here should hold should uh, contain some value to be extracted right should contain something that you can just you know put uh, effort in and it returns value and it's very straightforward and anytime you see a topic that doesn't uh, offer value it should be either uh, anytime you see topic here which doesn't offer value should be deleted or moved to explore uh, assessment zone you know to get um, reassessment whether it's worth to keep it or you know delete it and this is important because sometimes you don't want to be spending too much time on the these decisions because you know it's always out of your learning process itself so this should be something like assessment zone freak oh <laughs> it's quite bad but anyway so so how, how this looks in action uh, right uh, I forgot to mention that for me uh, I actually changed this modified this a bit uh, assessment zone starts from uh, 60 60 percent 60 to 70 percent priorities right so it's very easy to tell that whenever priorities start to hit 60 I know that instead of learning I would be making assessment whether this holds value, whether this should be deleted or uh, moved to uh, higher levels. So for example here, I'm not sure if this holds value, I'm not sure if this holds value. And You know, obviously if I, uh, this pops up in my IRQ, obviously I, uh, if I find value there, first of all I would change the priority, but I would you know learn it or do some work on it rather than just you know 
assessing whether it holds value or, or not. It doesn't. It doesn't. You know, mean that I should do just one of these things. You know, I just I should just assess the value and blah blah blah. You you want to keep learning things, right? If that makes sense. So yeah, basically, um, when you when you are tired on when you don't have energy, it's very easy to go to assessment zone and find valuable stuff, move it to one one to sixty percent category, which would be the value section section, and delete stuff that doesn't hold value. It's very very uh, passive thing to do and very useful thing because it uh, means that you'll be if I find say it's uh, 10 p.m. I'm too tired to learn and I, I can just you know go through 60 plus percent priorities and gradually move them to you know either deletion or value zone and <clears throat> yeah probably should mention about these uh, sections in the value zone we have urgent zone which would mean stuff that uh, is of you know is very urgent you need this today or tomorrow or in upcoming days or some for some reason you need to read it that's the first things and for me there's just uh, this video which is very urgent f related to a project I'm doing with my good British friend James B and for applicable zone mostly uh, it's probably uh, a lot of school stuff for me you know drops into applicable uh, applicable zone level one because it's kind of kind of urgent and very related to you know what i'm doing so applicable zone would be probably uh labeled as something that somehow utilizes you in real life it has some kind of impact in your life right so so somehow it contributes to your life it gives you a new skill set it affects your decision making in real life and stuff like that so this this has some kind of relation to your life right and say if it's math you should be uh learning this well i like you if it's if math falls here you definitely should be actually practicing the math developing your math skills and instead of just you know say reading or whatever so to transform things to your life and on the other hand interest zone would be you know anything that's of interest but doesn't quite uh satisfy the criteria of applicability or relevant relevancy to your life so this actually should be applicability slash relevancy zone somehow it's very things that are very relevant to your life and interest zone would be like self-exploratory anything that is of interest and interest also always gives you value applicable zone gives you value to contribute to your life interest zones give you value of uh value of uh well being interest feeds your curiosity gives you some kind of maybe entertainment value or whatever obviously you shouldn't uh, fill your sm collection with uh, a 3 vr well, you can if you want to there's no rules on that but you know maybe maybe to keep it maybe keep uh like entertain like music and stuff like that separated maybe separate collection if yeah yeah i don't know where i'm going with this but anyways interest zone and then the assessment zone aka i don't know if this has any value so yeah and yeah you can just anytime you're not going through your ir uh ir the normal way which would be just the learn way and blah 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 uh, you can go alt v and enter or just view and outstanding and you know you can do a quick uh, say for say before uh, ir session you could do a quick uh, 
run through, see see whether these things in one to sixty percent actually hold value. You could check them. Say say for here, this actually should be an applicable zone. This is very relevant to my life. Very useful. And there we go. And so forth. You can do that in value zone quickly. This I'm not sure if it holds value. I'm I'm not quite uh, sh sh sure. So I'll move it to uh, assessment zone. This should be deleted or uh, you know assess the value whether it's useful or not. I'll find the usefulness of this. Let's say yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I have. Uh, if I go learn, yeah, this is blah, blah blah blah. I would learn this, then move on, and it's a good habit to you know check the prior priority box here. It's a very good habit to develop, right? So you can know that whenever uh, sixty percent uh, priority stuff pops up. Like here, I probably say if this was even longer, I wouldn't need to uh, do the effort, effort of going through this uh, systematically and trying to f engage this in, uh, you know, engage this text, you know, with too high concentration. I could just see that, oh, this is 70%. I should make a decision whether this has any value or not, whether I should delete it or uh, move it to. Higher, higher stages, I could, you know, see that the integrator. All right, this this relates to thing I'm learning currently. I think this has this has some value. Maybe I need more resources on screening and blah blah blah. I could write a little notes, find more sources for screening and and assess this higher priority maybe. Maybe this could be of interest zone rather than applicable zone. So I press number five. Four would be of higher interest. Five is a bit less interest. And six is the least interest, but still has value, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it.